Africa. Seven million years ago. A continent in upheaval. The world as we know it does not yet exist. This is the Miocene epoch. Dense, tropical forests cover vast swathes of the land. But the climate is beginning to change. It is growing cooler, drier. Here in the treetops, lives a common ancestor, a being that holds the origin of two great lineages. One line will lead to modern chimpanzees, the other to us. As of yet, they are barely distinguishable. Their lives play out in the safety of the trees. They climb, search for fruit, and move on all fours. But the changing world is forcing a decision. The forests are shrinking. In their place, a new dangerous landscape emerges. The savanna, open grassland offering little protection. For the forest dwellers, this is a lethal challenge. Food sources are scattered. Predators lurk in the tall grass. Many species die out. But one group dares to step into the unknown. They leave the safety of the trees and set foot on the ground. And here, something revolutionary happens. Upright walking. Why? Why take this enormous risk? Perhaps to see over the tall grass and spot enemies sooner. Perhaps to cover long distances more efficiently and save energy. Or perhaps to free the hands. Hands that can now carry food to provide for the family. Hands that will one day use sticks and stones as tools. The gait is still wobbly, a compromise between climbing and walking. Beings like Sahelanthropus or Artipithecus are the pioneers of this new locomotion. Their brain is still small, barely larger than a chimpanzee's. They are still more animal than human. But this single anatomical change, standing on two legs, is the decisive moment that separates us from all other living things. It is the first step on a journey millions of years long. The journey of humanity has begun.